if you want financial independence, you need a different vehicle than a job. But if you just go in there and you sit on the desk and go, you, are, you have a job. That's a J-O-B for you. Just over broke. As I mentioned before, this is part two, and we are still talking about the youth and how can the youth break into the property market. We have seen that the unemployment rate has risen extremely, back to 75%, which is a crisis, another pandemic. But we are here to talk all about that. And Ebo, an uh, educated man on this topic, who can literally give us the solutions to everything. And he's also opened his doors to those at home. If ever we need help, a mentor, whatever it is you need, all the details are on the screen, you have his name, and this is exactly where you can find all these details and make contact because, as we've mentioned in the first half, we cannot do this alone, we need a power team. Ebo, let's, let's pick it up from where we left off, tell us more. So there's this notion of team that the people have to be working for you or working with you all the time. Mm. No, they don't. Uh, so you find that in my sphere, mm. I have people that I just rely on for just, ref like you call it, um, accountability partners. I just bounce things off them. Hey, I'm going to do A, B, C, D this time. Can you, can you check in with me and hold me accountable? Then there are those that you know, okay, I am going to, let's look at sectional title schemes. When we decided we're moving into the sectional schemes um, industry, yeah, yeah. right? You now go, who is the best at it? Or who has been doing this the longest? So we realized Professor Graham Paddox is actually the author of all of these. Who do we have in our network that can get us to him? Because you always want to go closest to the source. Of course. Yeah. So that now is the people in our team. So if I need anything and I feel like, uh, you bounce it off the best and then you come back and you know that you are right. Mm. And I think that's also one way to figure out if your team is for you at the end of the day. Because you can have a team that is totally against you, that doesn't want to no, see you. No, then you don't have a team. Then you don't have a team. But I think that we, especially, again, youth, we mistake that. We have these, you know, circles, friends, whatever it may be. If you can't hold me accountable, if you can't call me out on my actions or if I'm doing something wrong, whatever the case may be, you're not, you're not there for me. The UCL just happened, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember posting that I wish um, Pep wins. But then at the same time, I was torn because I wanted Chelsea to win. Now, here's a person that is supporting both teams at the same time. And yet I'm part of the team of both of them, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to teamwork, you would have realized that all those people, and when Pep lost, what happened? Mm -hmm. The people called him out. They said, you selected the wrong team to right. start off with. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.